Happy New Year, friends. We've covered a lot of amazing stories over the year. To celebrate, I thought we'd take a look back at the good, the bad, and the strangest ocean stories of 2022. For those of you who are new here, I'm KP, a marine biologist who spent over a decade working with marine mammals. The bad. A study out of Stanford University found that our ocean's most massive animals eat up to 10 million pieces of microplastic every single day. That's a 60 inch flat screen TV's worth of plastic every single day. The study focused on baleen whales, specifically blue, fin, and humpback whales. The good news is that fin whales who were once nearly hunted to extinction have made an enormous recovery this year. It is believed that only one to 2% of fin whales survived commercial whaling. But a recent study published in the journal Scientific Reports found high densities of fin whales, reestablishment of historical behaviors, and the return to ancestral feeding grounds. A biologist and co-author told NBC News that they had never seen so many whales in one place before, and that this increase raises hope that fin whales are on their way to pre-exploitation numbers. The bad. A former SeaWorld employee claimed that the park had created hybrid Jurassic World style orcas when subspecies of killer whales mated at the park. Now this story isn't bad for the reason that you might think. It's bad because it is extremely misleading and really nothing more than clickbait. And don't get me wrong, there are legitimate reasons to criticize SeaWorld. That's why I think it's so funny when people have to come up with crap like this, especially about a program that ended six years ago. And even worse, it actively takes attention away from the critically endangered Southern resident killer whales. There are only about 74 individuals left. And the problem with stuff like this is it just is a distraction from the things that we should be legitimately concerned about. The good news, a new southern resident calf was spotted on the west side of Vancouver Island this summer. This is the first calf born to K-Pod since 2011. Even better, the calf known as K45 is a girl. Insert <laughs> gender reveal. There are only 10 breeding females left in that population. And increasing that number is the only way that these animals can stave off extinction. The bad news, two extremely popular seafood delicacies are off the menu. For the first time ever, the Alaska snow crab harvest has been canceled. But as you saw, news just broke that Whole Foods has pulled Maine lobster from its shelves after the delicacy was red listed by Monterey Bay Aquarium Seafood Watch. The good news is that the US Department of Commerce has introduced a series of disaster relief for Alaska crab fishermen. This should mean relief funding for the Bristol Bay king crab fishermen and the Bering Sea snow crab fishermen who rely on these crab populations for their livelihood. Hopefully something similar can be done to help out the Maine lobstermen. Because these are real people with medical bills, mortgages, rent. And that brings us to what is, in my opinion, the worst news from 2022. Tragically, Freya has been euthanized after repeated warnings to leave her alone went ignored. More could have and should have been done to protect this animal from the people harassing her. However, walruses aren't the only animals exploring new ranges. Sea otters actually appear to be returning to some of their historic areas. In what might be the best news of 2022, our friends over at the Alaka Alliance are making strides in reintroducing sea otters off of their native coast in Oregon. They've published their feasibility study and have begun taking next steps. In fact, a few sea otters have already been spotted off the Oregon coast and Haida Gwaii. Now, for the weird. Recently, an ecology professor's explanation for sea monsters went viral on TikTok. But it did give me the interesting opportunity to explain some things about whale genitalia on YouTube. The good news is my silly video about the Loch Ness Monster actually caught the attention of the History Channel. 
They flew me out to LA where I served as the marine biologist expert on an upcoming series. Stay tuned to my socials and the K-Passionate community page for details. And I'll catch you in 2023. Happy New Year. Welcome back, friends. As you can tell... <sighs> but a recent stubbly... Stubbly. A stubbly. I know from the comment section... Section? Section? It also says, raises the hope that fine whales are on their way. It's those fine ass whales. Which I also advocated for in my video about the canceled Alaskan king crab. Not king crabs, no crab, there's no crab. In fact, a few sea otters have already been spotted off of the Oregon clo coast. But as you saw, news just broke that Whole Foods has pulled Maine lobster from their shelves after the delicacy was red listed by a place. Hey, come here. You could be part of it. <laughs> Happy New Year, friends. 